Sex game had her ass blowing me up. <laughs> Sex game had her ass texting me up. Yeah. Whoa. I got the money. I know the steps and precautions to take when dealing with bleach. If you're not knowledgeable, you can fuck up some stuff, like, real quick. So I got the moves. I got the moves. Oh, I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta move. She made that back move. Damn. She made the titties move. Damn. I made the city move. Like, bro. I made the city move. I got the moves. I'm making moves. I got the moves. I got the moves. I'm making moves. I'm making moves. You gotta move. You gotta. She made that back. So, be careful and just follow the instructions. Girls who just... You know, maybe you don't want to go buy some new hair, or maybe you can't afford to go buy some new hair, but you have some old wigs or some old hair that you want to revamp. This is for you, ladies. Um, the other ladies, you're going to go ahead and skip all the way to the end of the video, and then just worry about processing um, the neon color onto the 613. That's what I would recommend. It's a lot easier. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle, because if you don't lift this hair up to a super white blonde, you, you are not going to you're not going to get this vibrant color that I have here so you're definitely gonna have to lift the entire head up to a very light one now so starting off I'm gonna be using a wig head I am using a canvas block head this is a 22 inch I'm gonna cover it with a plastic bag and this is just to protect it from any um, moisture or anything that can stain the wig head such as the bleach or any of the dye so you're just going to go ahead and place the bag around and then tie at the bottom. Just make sure you secure it very tightly so no moisture can seep through. Make sure it doesn't have any holes either because that kind of defeats the point. So the hair I'm going to be using is from Fesh Fen Hair and Beauty. I do have a full review and unboxing of this hair. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link right here as well as in the description box. I know as you can tell, the hair is two different colors from the like the closure of the frontal but we'll talk about that later. I'm going to be using a color bowl and some Colestin volume 10 and 40 volume. You're also going to use something to mix the color and some clips to hold the hair. So you're definitely going to want a deep conditioner or a pair mask. I'm using the Goldwell or Macadamia natural uh, repair mask and then some T-pins just to hold down the wig onto the wig cap. So I did pre-construct this. I do have a video on how I make my wig so if you guys want to check that out I'll have a link up there on top as well as down in the description box below but go ahead and make sure it's secured down and then I'm going to section into four this, this is going to allow us to have more control of what we're doing and for us to be able to um, lift properly as far as the bleach goes so once you section it off into four the back two I, you want to section those off as well and I'll get more into that in just a moment now, I couldn't decide if I wanted it to be long like K Michelle's or short like K Michelle's so I went ahead and I just left it long for right now and I mixed the 40 volume with some Blondor bleach. Now make sure you're blending this or mixing this very well. You don't want it to be very powdery or chalky. You're also going to be applying um, about an, a half an inch to an inch away. Do you understand that the bleach expands? When it does expand, it's going to go a little bit higher um, towards the weft and you don't want it to bleed into the weft and create just a completely blonde look. Now, I recommend using foil if you're not going to be using gloves especially, but I like the foil because it, ha it helps to heat up the hair. Now, you don't have like a hot head, so it's not going to be warming up off the person's body heat. We're working with the wig, so I need all the heat I can get. So the um, foil is going to help with that. I recommend that you just get some regular like Reynolds foil because it's a lot sturdier. If you get this, the like the pre-cut ones from Sally's, they tend to be pretty flimsy, and yeah, I like them better. What I'm basically doing is I'm going weft for weft. You want it to be as thin as possible. I am going to be processing this twice, and you're going to definitely see where you miss um, areas of bleach. You want to make sure the entire hair is submerged in the bleach because you don't want to end up with like black spots when you rinse out the bleach from the hair. You want it to be completely even. Now, if you wanted, if the hair was like already light or you wanted to um, for sure save the ends and you didn't want them to be damaged and you were working with some like hair that was already damaged, don't go all the way down to the ends. Um, color the ends on the second go around just because you don't want to damage the ends. So like when you go back and try to check the hair to make sure that the hair is lifting properly 
go back and put some bleach on those ends. Now I'm working my way all the way to the top and I'm basically just doing the same thing all the way around making sure that I have some um, like an inch or half an inch left so I can have the dark root. Now I really love the 40 volume cholestin for the first application because you're going to need to lift the hair as high as possible on the first application. This is key to making sure you're not damaging the hair. If you lift it with a 20 volume, you're not going to get much lift out of the hair or if you use a soap cap on dark hair, um, you're not going to get much lift. Now if you're trying to lift some really light hair and you don't want to damage it, I definitely recommend a soap cap just because your hair is already light, you only want to lift it a couple of levels, soap cap isn't as damaging as applying straight bleach and developer onto the person's hair and it's going to do what you want. But fortunately, I'm going to have to go ahead and um, do this with the bleach because I need the roots to stay dark because that's just the look I'm going for. Now prison lights, they have that. If you can't get your hands on the blonde door, I like the blonde door because it tones while it lifts. But the Prism does the same thing. They sell this at Sally's as well. I highly recommend that um, just because it's going to cool down that red brassiness that you get with dark hair. I got the moves. I got the moves. Just make sure you're continuing this process all the way around the head and just kind of going with the flow of how you would style the hair. So as you can see, I'm pulling some of the hair down to the side of the head like I would normally wear the hair. If you're pulling it back, the lines aren't going to be straight and it's not going to look right when you're trying to style it. So go ahead, take your time, be careful with the bleach. As you can see, I ended up having to put some um, gloves on just because my hands were starting to be on fire from the 40 volumes. I definitely recommend gloves. I know I didn't mention that at the beginning of the video, but gloves are a definite when you're working with this high developer. Back to back ahead after hit check the batting average. I take the work from working with the neons. We won't have to be so precise where we apply the color because it only deposit, it doesn't lift. The only thing you're gonna have to avoid is applying it onto the lace because it does stain really bad. So now once you get up to the top, you want to be a lot more careful than you have been throughout this entire process just because. It is what everyone is going to see. So you want to make sure that the lines are even, uh, the gap between the center part to where the um, bleach starts is even. You just you don't want it to be like a half an inch of space towards the root and a whole inch of space towards the other side of the root. You want it to be even. Now those lines of demarcation are going to be gone. We're going in with our second process and our second process is a lot more crucial than our first. You have to be a lot more careful and you're going to be a lot more precise of what you're doing on this second application. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so oil placement is very important and making sure that your slices are as thin as possible and that you're picking up no more than one weft at a time or one row at a time. So make sure you're placing it as close to the weft as you can. Going over that line and don't going and don't go any higher than the line you already created for yourself. If possible, go just a tad bit lower than that because once again it's gonna bleed. Now I did foil up the complete completely foiled up the back. I don't know why I can't talk, guys. I completely foiled up the back and now I'm gonna go in um, at the front. You can see a lot more in the front like patchiness and that was just because this frontal had just been bleached and I mean it had been colored already and when I bleached it a lot of it didn't lift a lot of it just stayed dark so yeah we'll get into more about how I was disappointed with the frontal in a little bit but as you can see those lower ones in the back lifting beautifully honey look at that blonde Ooh, as Max would say, that's Santa Barbara Blonde. <laughs> so I'm just checking to make sure everything's going well, none of the hair's getting gummy. It's going to warm up, so don't f be worried when you feel like it's hot back there. So I'm going to use some silk elements and some shimmer lights to rinse out all of that. I'm just checking to make sure none of the hair's falling out or none of it's gummy. Um, it does feel a little bit delicate, I'm not going to lie. Definitely needs to be brushed out and a deep conditioner must be applied on this hair just to make sure that you're restoring back something back into the hair. So I'm using the Macadamia um, deep 
conditioning moisturizer. You guys have seen this, our deep conditioning mask. You guys have seen this before. And the Ultra Rich Keratin Care from Goldwell. So I'm double, uh, doubling up on this deep conditioner to make sure that I'm just restoring as much as I can back into the hair since I just stripped it of everything that it had. Now, be gentle when brushing it out, and to be honest with you, you shouldn't even be brushing out the hair after it's been bleached, but this hair is so thick. If I lose some, it's not going to be a big deal. So I'm going in with the foil um, cap, and I'm just going to apply it over that, and it's just going to create some heat, or you can use the blow dryer, whatever you want. And I left this overnight just because I had to go to work, and I was already tired, and when I came back the next day, it was still sort of damp, but as you can see, it looks a lot better, like, the elasticity uh, is a lot better. Like, it was looking, I was getting a little bit worried. So, um, the shimmering lights definitely toned it a little bit more. But the ends look exactly how I want them to be. And that's great. So, I'm just going to give it a little trim because I finally decided, you know, I want it to be a short bob. I don't really have too many short bobs. So, I'm just going to do a straight blunt cut. Um, I can't really exactly help you with this, guys. Um, just basically keep it a blunt cut, like, even. If you guys know how to cut straight across, then you guys can probably do this. Um, I always like to blow dry the hair and cut it with, like, men's clippers or, like, even real hair clippers you can use to make it even and just get a comb and then just go across and cut it even. I love to do that. It works out perfect and it creates like this nice sleek chic like blunt blunt Kim K cut. I love it. So I'm just going to cut it up, create this cute little bob. I want it extra short. So guys, it was at this point when I reached the top to start cutting um, and evening out the front of the bob. But I started realizing I have a lot of hair on my comb and it was more and more and more and more. And it was on my fingers, and then I went to the front to start cutting and evening out the front, and I noticed the hair had fallen out. There was just no salvaging this closure. It was already processed, and there was nothing I was going to be able to do about it. I was just going to have to suck it up and take a closure off another wig and restart the process all over again. Yeah, pretty frustrated, as you can tell. Okay guys, so this is what a closure should look like after it's been bleached twice if it's been done properly. Now, I did use for this one because I ran out of my blonde door, I did use a Prism Lights. It is the one that you sell at Sally's. I'll leave a little picture of it right here. But um, I use that with just a Wella 40 to vol of 40 volume developer and then I rinsed it out with my neutralizing shampoo and my shimmering lights. I let the shimmering lights sit in here for about 15 minutes and it got it to this nice just toned out even white blonde. It's not very brassy at all. It's looking a little bit more brassy on camera than it really is in person. But I mean look at how gorgeous this looks. This is how it should look. It's not gummy. It's strong. The length stayed. It's 26 inches. I am brushing through this hair and there are no strands coming off. See that? Look at that. Look at how white that looks. Look at how good that looks. Finally, so we're going to use the Kenner Colors Creative Neon, Neon Yellow and Green. You're going to need Dove or any type of conditioner. So for the Kenner Color Neon Colors, I do recommend you use some gloves because when puncturing was open, it got on my nail for two seconds and it freaking stained. Also, use yourself a key. It's like $1.29. It's worth it. You're going to maximize the amount of product that you can get out of the tube. And it just is a lot easier to squeeze out. So I'm going to be using two of each. Two green, two yellow. Now these colors are super pigmented. That's why I'm going to be using the conditioner just to dilute it. Because I did get like a really light blonde. I don't need as much pigment 
as the color is going to provide me and I can also get more um, coverage with less tubes if you know what I mean. So I already purchased four and it looks like I really purchased like six or seven. So the conditioner is going to condition as well. It's just a win-win. If your hair is a little bit darker and you didn't get it to that light blonde like I recommended you to do, then definitely don't put the conditioner because you're going to need more pigment. But this is not the case for me in this wig. As you can see, the ends are already pretty green and I'm barely like, it's barely kissed it. It's not even fully um, saturated with the color. And this is going to set for several hours. It says to do it for like 30 minutes on the box, but I'm extra and I wanted to make sure it really got in there and it had conditioner in there and it's just a demi-permanent, so it's not going to damage it or anything. It's just better if you leave it on longer. There are a few different products that allow you to achieve the same look. I know Ion from Sally's has one that's called Cantaloupe and another one that I'll list down below and uh what is it, Manic Panic, I had one on the table here, it was like electric green and then electric banana yellow, you can mix those as well, but I noticed that the Kendra colors last a lot longer. Now when rinsing this out, I recommend not using any shampoo just to um, make the color last a little longer, now this is a demi-permanent, the more shampoos, the less vibrant the color is going to be, as well as as much heat as you apply it's going to fade it out as well. So try not to heat it up, let it air dry, and then not use such hot water and don't wash as often. Style as you like and that's it guys. I'm like so in love with this guys. Like, <sighs> I'm good. Kendra Colors, uh, shout out to them for like their bomb ass neon. Like, I don't know, I'm really in love with this color. Let me know what you guys think if you guys like the hair. Um, like always guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with somebody who might find it useful. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Want more of this wig? Don't forget to check out the video where I talk more in depth about this wig and my complications with the closure. Still talking in a lot of action, seen a competition, not a challenge. I lean, I move, I walk doing this bitch, packed out.